Okay, Gunnery Sergeant, can you tell me your uh, full name, please, and your unit? I'm uh, Gunnery Sergeant Louis S. Cruz with uh, Max 4 Detachment Alpha. And uh, can you spell your name, please? Louis, L-O-U-I-E. Last name's Cruz, C-R-U-Z. And uh, your MOS? 7257 Air Traffic Controller. Okay. Gunnery Sergeant, uh, you have uh, the, mo the mobile air traffic control unit coming in. Can you tell me what it is and uh, how the process? The uh, the system you're referring to is called the AtNavix. It's an air traffic navigation uh, integration system. And what it is is two Humvees that allow us to, uh, if we bring it to an airfield, it provides radar services. So in other words, right now, we rely on our eyes to identify where aircraft are in the sky. And the AtNavix has the capability of radar so we can see further out. So right now we're limited to about five to six miles in regards to uh, what we can see. And when the typhoon rolled through uh, the Tucklebound area, it wiped out the approach control services. Normally that is the facility that would provide that same service. The neat thing about the Etnavics is the system only relies on two Humvees. One is the, uh, the actual sensor pallet that provides the, uh, the equipment to detect aircraft. And the second equipment is what we call the operation shelter. Those are the radar screens where we see the aircraft. And with that system, uh, the, the uh, center control from Manila or Mactan, which is the nearby center control, about 30, uh, 30 minutes from here flying, will be able to provide uh, us inbound information on the aircraft, and we'll be able to vector and sequence that aircraft into the airfield. And so that will lessen the chaos in the tower, because as of right now, we use a procedure called 9Radar, where we are using timing and different altitudes to, to separate all the aircraft to ensure they don't, they don't collide. Okay, so specifically if it were like in a time of war or a time of uh, humanitarian assistance, what can you tell me about it in, in, from those uh, perspectives? The AtNavix will allow us to run 24-7 operations in the sense that when the weather goes bad, i.e. the visibility goes to a mile or the clouds get below a thousand feet, the aircraft can no longer see the runway. So the AtNavix will actually allow us to talk the aircraft down to the runway with a uh, accuracy of 30 feet left or right of center line. Okay, and uh, these things are typically known as like expeditionary type uh, systems, right? I mean, they're, they're, the at -Navics, they're ready and they're called in quickly. The AtNavix is, uh, and that's a unique system of its own kind. The uh, system it replaced was, uh, was called a CCS, and that took uh, about four or five uh, C-130s or two C-17s to move, and it took a couple days to set up. Whereas the AtNavix, uh, you give our Marines one day and they'll be ready to go. Okay, uh, that's about all I have to start but is there anything else about it that you can tell me specifically with uh, what's going on here that I didn't ask? Uh, no, that pretty much covered it. Uh, the only other item is the AtNavix allows, we can tie in phone lines um, so we can if we had the phone lines established, we can call to Manila Center or Mactan Center Control and start doing the coordination with them. Whereas right now, the controls in the tower are using a HF radio, which is not very reliable. Okay.